Welcome to the next episode of Become a Kicker throughout the summer, a series where we take you one uh, one week at a time through the summer teaching you a new kick. Uh, we've been doing all kinds of kicks from front kicks, round kicks, hook kicks, jumping and spinning kicks, and now we're doing a tornado kick, which is a relatively challenging kick. If you've been following along through the summer, you should have the ability to do it. But remember, it's still a relatively challenging kick. So if you need to check out the previous episodes of this series, definitely check out the, I'm sure there's a playlist at the end of this video or link down below, you know, just do the things. But let's get to our tornado kicks. So just like many of our other kicks that we've learned, we're always going to start in this good uh, guard stance or fighting stance with one foot forward, one foot behind. Now with a tornado kick specifically, you can do it going forward, you can do it in different directions, but for right now, we're going to teach it and learn it going sideways and kicking in front of you. So essentially coming across this direction while kicking the person directly standing in front of you so if you want to go in a different direction you can it's just a little bit different and so keep that in your mind again we're going to go nice and slow because this is a challenging kick once you're here with your feet nice and uh wide giving you guys solid a good solid base can't talk for some reason guys don't know why but that back leg is going to step over to the other side of your body basically showing your your target your back and yes it's not good but that's how spinning kicks work you got to do it for a moment and again that back that right leg that far leg steps over to the other side <clears throat> and for those that didn't catch it uh, we are actually kicking with the back leg right now so that leg that's gonna kick steps once we're here we look over our left shoulder until we can see our target and we want to take our left knee and point it towards our target one more time right leg steps over left shoulder left knee points towards our target just like so now the higher you point the higher you're going to get in the air however you're going to want to switch your feet and then you will either do a crescent kick like we worked on before or you'll rotate your hips over and do a round kick either one works i personally just like crescent kicks better um, but you can do either one that you choose. So again, step by step, we step over, look over the shoulder, point that knee towards our front. We're gonna switch our feet and throw your round kick or crescent kick. And there we go. We can spin through at the end to keep the momentum going. Um, once you switch, kick, spinning through to keep the momentum going if you so choose. <clears throat> now, all the way through you have to come at it a little bit differently simply because when we add momentum as we lift that knee we jump at the same time the knee is the knee is kind of what launches ourselves up in the air as we jump it's what helps us get a lot higher and so that's why i said earlier the higher your knee goes the higher your jump the higher your kick will go so as we do it with momentum we step with our back leg launch into the air just like that i'm sure uh, the mic bounced around a little bit but as you can see once that knee lifts we have to jump with our knee as well in order to get that height and that's what makes this the tornado kick when you can fully go around and there we go that's our kick again this is not an easy kick so there's certain things that you can practice to get yourself better for example warming up by doing these uh, leg jumps or the single leg swing through jumps, technically is what they're called, I think. But it's using that knee to launch yourself in the air while you jump up off of one leg. That can help you get the muscles and get the energy to be able to do the correct kick on both sides because that will help work out the muscles you need to jump. And by working out those muscles when you need to do the actual kick, you'll have the muscles and the flexibility because we worked on the other kicks to be able to do it perfectly. Now I know this is a slightly, slightly shorter one than the ones we've had before. Uh, hopefully you still enjoy it regardless and be ready because uh, the next 
level of this kick, taking this to the next step, is a 540 kick, which is very hard, and it's gonna be what we cover in the next episode. So make sure to get lots of practice with this kick so that you can learn a 540 with no problem. And of course, like I've said before, if you wanna get all of these videos at once and don't wanna wait for anybody, you can always subscribe to become a member and access every single one of them right now. Plus the next course, which is going to be the Assassin's Creed course that I'm going to release very soon. Um, so if you wanna get that before anyone else, definitely, definitely, definitely become a member. But even if you don't, my name's still DJ Moore, this is Silver Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to